Well, hey guys, do you like the look of mixing mulch with river rock? If you do, check out this video. As you can see, I've got some mulch mix, uh, mulch river rock mix in my front yard, and now I have been wanting to do this in the back for a while around my pool deck. I've got three areas of accent pieces I'm going to add. So, want to check it out? Watch this video. Well, hey everybody, Jeff here, Project Next One. Uh, thanks for tuning in and thanks for watching the channel. Uh, by the way, if this is your first time ever tuning in, uh, welcome. Uh, Project Next One is all about doing projects, just knocking them out one at a time. I always learn things as I go and I always like to share all that information with you guys. So again, thanks for uh, tuning in and if you will, please consider uh, hitting that subscribe, uh, like and share with your friends. Would love to have you along with the journey of Project Next because here, Man, there is always one more. There is an endless list and uh, projects will just keep rolling out on this channel. Uh, I try to post my videos uh, a couple times a week. So love to have you along uh, for the journey with Project Next One. Anyway, speaking of projects, um, we are going to be doing some river uh, rock work today and blending that in to mulch beds that I already have. Uh, here in my front yard, uh, we have added the river rock blends already. Uh, obviously, I still I need to do a freshen up and, and do some more mulching. And I've got some shrubbery that I need to replace that has pa uh, that passed away. Listen to me talk. That has died. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, uh, I've got three areas around my pool deck in the back and uh, I want to add uh, some more accent pieces back there. So that's what I'll be working on today and I'll show you guys how I go about doing it. Uh, everybody that I've talked to that does this for a living, uh, there's really no secret to it. Uh, it's really like kind of putting together a puzzle and you just need to take your time and lay it in as nice as you can. So anyway guys, you know me, let's get busy. All right, so one of the first accent pieces I wanna do is I just wanna come in where the concrete does this natural curve and I just wanna counter it by doing a curve the other way. So I'm going to come right up to the front of my knockout rosebush tree and I'm just gonna do a semi arc and I'm gonna fill all this in with rock and then I'll come in and I'm gonna freshen up all my mulch around it. So. If you are doing this, make sure you have a good pair of gloves. Uh, I can almost promise you by the end of the day, you will have worn holes in all the fingers of your gloves. The, these rocks are very abrasive and on top of that, they got a lot of dirt on them and it's just like messing with sandpaper. So definitely don't wanna wear your fingertips out. So this plant right here had grown so big and I'll never let these get out of that, that big out of shape again. But anyway, it had grown so big it had consumed this and the uh, only way I could get it apart was to cut it. No big deal. This is a fairly easy fix. This is just all low voltage. And I know a lot of people are saying you should seal tight this and all of that. Uh, this connection, well, the one I had to cut was already a connection here. This is five years old and I've never had a minute's trouble. And if I ever do have trouble, I know where the connection is and I can come hunting for it. So, not too concerned. Anyway guys, got a few more things to clean up and then we're gonna start mulching.
Okay, one section down, completely done, 100%, and I think it turned out fantastic. Again, probably not the way a lot of people do this, but now I can look at this and it's my inspiration, my driving factor to keep me going for the rest of the projects that I've got coming up as far as uh, continuing to River Rock um, additions, uh, which is a lot of time consuming hard work. You're down on your knees, placing a rock one by one. Um, and also, um, it's just a lot of, uh, lot of work. <laughs> so anyway, uh, without hesitation, let me show you what I've got. And I'll also, as we're walking here, I'll throw on some B-roll of what it looked like before. And we'll go back and forth and you can see. But obviously this addition, this one little section of River Rock, just added that extra little pop that I think this area needed. <clears throat> I love the contrast between the mulch and the river rock. There's multiples of different colors. I tend to go with the darker one. I just think that's a prettier look with the mulch. Uh, some of them are almost completely white and I just doesn't, I don't think I doesn't. Ha! Talking country on you guys today. Anyway, um, I don't think that that blends with the dark mulch. So anyway, let me continue on. Now again, over in this area, I had these had gotten pretty much out of control. And you know, these right here come back every year. And uh, of course in the winter time, uh, once they completely die out, I trim them back. Uh, but they had just gotten so big that these right here really need to be cut back. Um, and also it had gotten so big, you couldn't even see our accent pieces um, uh, with our rock accents. Uh, so anyway, I also trimmed all of this up, uh, replaced uh, some of my Larapi and uh, anyway, I think it looks very, very nice now and I just can't wait to get the rest of it done. So anyway, I'm going to finish up the video here, guys, uh, just because I don't want each one to be so long, but I'll come back with you. I've got some really cool design ideas uh, for more, more River Rock. I'll actually probably do a whole series of two or three videos of just doing the River Rock slash mulch mix blend. And so uh, there'll be more coming. For right now, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you guys found this enjoyable and, and just ways to get ideas. Again, uh, Project Next is all about doing work and sharing what I learn and sharing ideas uh, a lot of this stuff I've gotten from other places uh, from me looking and doing my investigating and so uh, I think YouTube is a great source for that so anyway guys thanks so much again uh, you guys take care uh, remember here at Project Neck there's always one more there'll be another videos coming soon and so we'll wrap this up for now you guys have a great week upcoming stay safe and we'll catch you later thanks for watching